Archer Beach Volleyball. The most recent season of Archer Beach Volleyball is, quite simply, the finest campaign the ladies on the sand have ever put together since Archer began playing the outdoor version of the sport. The Panthers made the playoffs and earned a home match at their home away from home at the Annenberg Beach House in Santa Monica. And in one magical afternoon, Archer rallied from the depths against Newbury Park. They saved their season as they fought off a match point and roared back to gut out a historic 2-1 to -one win over Newbury Park, the first playoff win in school history. Archer lost 2-1 to -one in the next round to eventual state runner-up Laguna Beach, but still a historic season. Winning a playoff match was very crazy because I never thought we'd be able to do it before or ever. Well, now we did it, so it's awesome, but um, it was very nerve-wracking during the game. I love this team because we all get along really well. We always have fun, and even if we don't have a great set of games, we make sure to have fun, and that's what we'll remember off the court. Archer Softball. New league, no problem. Archer softball transitioned to the Coastal League, leaving the Liberty League behind. And the Panthers continued perfection, going a spotless 6-0 in their new league, continuing their unbeaten league streak to 25 straight, dating back to 2015. And for this year's seniors, the league perfection and the deep playoffs run are the highlights of the greatest period of softball in school history. But it's only part of what they'll remember about Archer. The girls and the spirit that we have on the team because it really is so special and we all keep such positive attitudes no matter what's thrown our way and we always pick each other up. Um, just a really supportive group and I'm so grateful to be part of it. I'm going to say it's a small all-girls school in Los Angeles and it's one of my favorite places in the world. Why? Because all of my sisters are there and I get to see them every day and I'm going to miss them a lot. Archer Swimming. For all the individual and team success that Archer Swimming has delivered in previous years, it's fair to say that 2019 is their best ever. Freshman phenom Thea Lemonet makes school history becoming the first athlete in Archer history to win a CIF Southern Section individual title after winning the 200 IM in 207.29. Thea also plays second in the 100 fly, plus three Archer Relay squads finished 11th, 11th, and 17th helping the Panthers to a 12th place finish in the team standings. Archer also turned in a fifth straight league title. That means their seven seniors are the second class in a row to win league in all four of their high school years. I'm gonna tell um, my college classmates that Archer has turned me into the best version of myself and they've taught me how to be confident, how to use my voice, and how to take all the skills I've used in swim team and all those friendships into the real world. Archer is the place where I've grown confident in myself and where I've been able to help others become confident in themselves too. Um, we're all about positivity and we're all about sisterhood, which I really appreciate. I love this team because I know I can always count on them to cheer me on during my meets and I can always count on them because um, they brighten up my day every single day at practice. If I'm having a bad day, I'll just see smiles in the locker room. Archer Track and Field. Domination, there's no other word to describe Archer Track and Field's performance at the Liberty League Finals. The Panthers repeat as league champs with a 49-point win over Pacifica Christian. Archer qualified athletes for 18 spots in the CIF prelims and 11 made it through prelims to reach the section finals. And that's where the magic happened as Archer Jr. Nia Mosby won both the 200 meters and the 400 meters to become her school's first track and field individual champion in the CIF Southern section. In all, it's a magical season for Archer and their seniors. This is one of the best four years of my life. Um, the friends and um, the relationships that I've made here are bonds that I know and hope that will never be broken. And um, I feel like I got such a great quality education and it really prepared me for college and beyond. I love this team because it's a family and I feel like every day I'm, when I'm running, no matter how hard or how tiring it is, I'm always being supported by my sisters, whether they're sprinters or long distance runners. I always feel like I have um, sisters to rely on. This group of girls 
has been like any other hasn't been like any other team I've been a part of. They're funny, they're supportive, they I have never been so happy to come to school and just see them in the hallways and say hello and hug them and just feel like a family.